welcome back to tech solutions friends today we will learn how to create a gantt chart before that if you are watching our videos first time please subscribe our channel and support us so let's learn how to create the gantt chart to create a gantt chart we need minimum one date dimension one or more dimensions zero or two measures this is the requirement for creating the gantt charts so let's understand the data we have we have dimension one dimension one date start date and a duration additionally we have end date and the status of the project so this is the data we have now let's start creating the gantt chart we can select the dimensions and go to show me and we can create our gantt chart using the show me um, button let's let's try that as well as well as um, we can try the different way manual way we can say so let's select this start date task and duration one date one dimension and one measure let's go to show me and click on gantt chart and it has created the gantt chart you can see automatic even though it shows automatic it it is showing that it is a gantt chart this is one way or we can create it different way as well manually so drag task here then start date in columns make it as a continuous then duration as a size let's make status the task as a color let's hide the show me button <laughs> then let's move it here let's show start date and end date as a labels this should be actual day let's fit it to the entire view this view is uh, should be uh, sorted by the date start date so task should be sort sorted by task date so click on task go to sort sorted by field select the field name as start date it should be minimum of start date and here it is now we have all the dates all the tasks sorted let's use status as a color and we have all this completed and just one in progress we can just uh, we can use here reference line for today so that we it will show us where exactly we are standing now in terms of status so let's do this let's let me create one calculated field today let's use this as uh, in detail this is a uh, discrete so change it to continuous <laughs> right click and add a reference line value 
day to day and ok this is where we are standing all the other phases or task are completed and on February 6, 2021 it is started which expected to end on February 28th, I am sorry, uh, February 28th it is started and it, it is expected to end on March 25th and today is March 1st. So this is how we can add Gantt charts to our visualizations. That's it from this tutorial friends. Thank you for watching and please keep supporting us.